Hello and welcome back to another pretty HD video. Today we have another Villarreal career mode episode. It is episode 5 of season 2. And um, we do start today's episode off with the second leg against Barcelona. And after we completely messed up the first leg. Uh, after playing our reserve side on accident because of team sheets. Um, the first time that's ever happened to me on FIFA. We are looking to return uh, to the Camp Nou and try and get something from the game. Now, I'm going to be totally honest here just whilst the gameplay plays in the background. FIFA 15 has turned just so boring now. I'm really not feeling it with FIFA. Um, I'm not going to lie. I love FIFA. I love the game. And I can't wait till FIFA 16 comes out. But every year, FIFA seems to be dying earlier and earlier. And I had this problem in FIFA 14. But I had this problem with FIFA 14 in the end of July and the middle of August. Which, well, by then, FIFA 15 was only around the corner. With this, I'm getting it in June. In June, I'm getting bored of this game. Ultimate Team, I'm just not feeling it with Foot Attacks at the moment. It would work next year. I think Foot Attacks would be excellent next year. And I might just quit the series now and continue it next year. Career Mode, I'm just not feeling it either. Because this Villarreal side, as much as I like it, as much as I really want to do well, there's certain games where I just... I don't seem to... I'm really inconsistent with them and I don't know why there's certain games where they don't seem to play very well for me and I really seem to struggle and something doesn't quite click in the same way that with my Everton team I really enjoyed playing with them. It felt really fluent and it felt like it really worked. But, you know, I mean, you don't go a game against Barcelona without Rakitic scoring against you, as I say, in every single Barcelona game. He is literally Darth Vader to me. He's just constantly in the eye of the public and... Rakitic, I've just, he's literally a devil, I, I, I don't even know what to explain him as, I mean, we've had three shots, it was their first shot, just reiterating that there, two goals in the Super Cup for him, and both of them have been against me, of course, it was just so frustrating, because we did really well this game, I think, um, we, we were doing quite well, you saw the big spell of possession that we had early on, uh, where we were creating chances from the corners, but they get one shot, and suddenly go ahead and score it, which, well, of course it's frustrating. It's always going to be frustrating. But going back to that, like, the point about FIFA, comment down below. What are you? What do you play on your PlayStation or Xbox at the moment, or even PC or even phone? Because I'm not. Go oh God! There goes a pen. I'm not going to lie. This is more of a discussion video today because I'm just really not. I'm not getting that same vibe, that same intensity which I got from my Everton career mode here at Villarreal. And it's actually made me think about moving um, moving jobs and moving club um, mid-series, which uh, would mean, of course, taking a job offer, whether it's international, whether it's a uh, club offer again. But, you know, um, as you can see, they actually do win the Super Cup, which is a shame. 3-0 in the end, which I think was completely undeserved. I think we, we at least deserved to score a goal 6-0 aggregate. I think we deserved to win this game. Forget about lose 3-0. And that was really unrealistic. I just um, An unrealistic reflection on the game, probably just because we were pushing forward. But again, like I just I don't know what it is. I think it's because every year FIFA has been the same. This is the first year where it was next-gen. So I was thinking, yes, something new, something awesome. For me, it was the first year game. Next January, of course, FIFA 14 was next gen, but that was just made mid-game and was rushed. This was the first full FIFA that was next gen. And you can see Vieta has actually gone to Barcelona as we go into the next game against Real Sociedad, which is the first game of the Liga BBVA. Um, we take on Moises' men at their Odromo Stadium, and uh, we travel all the way to Sociedad. In fact, I don't think it's actually Sociedad. I don't think that's actually a place. I think it's... Oh, what's it called now? Where they're situated in Real Sociedad. I'm not quite sure that's going to bug me now. But um, if I just reiterate again, like, I was thinking, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, fair enough. The gameplay is completely different to old gen, in my opinion. That was the best part about it. But, yeah, that held up quite well for the few months that we had it what a brilliant shot as well by Franco De Santo you've just got to hand down to that finish I mean yet again we concede in a game yet again we can't get the clean sheet and it is in fact Real Sociedad who draw first blood in the Liga BVA as we go behind for uh in well we concede before we score in this season well yeah going back to that point I just 
it, it felt like, yeah, once the, the gameplay held up pretty well. And the new features in the gameplay, the fluency, the realism in the gameplay, I really liked in career mode. Um, it was excellent in career mode. And all my team, I didn't quite enjoy the gameplay. Um, and that's my truth. I, I don't think I'm very good at Ultimate Team, to be honest, gameplay-wise. Career mode, I love it. I can play on Legendary and I can do pretty well um, in comparison. So, I think the thing is... I look at it and I think, once the gameplay is gone, and by the way, Jared Pika hit the bar there, and we actually lose our first game, which is a real shame because that's quite frustrating to lose our first game in the League of BVA 2 0. But then again, we don't always do very well again for our Sociedad. But when I was thinking, I was thinking about this and I was thinking, but now the gameplay's got old, what do we fall back on? What makes it still unique? What keeps it new? And by the way, we did actually go in for Alvaro Morata as well as a replacement for Luciano Vieta, which um, you will see what happens there. Juventus accepted a bid of around 18 million, I think 17 million, yeah. And um, we are in contract negotiations with him now. Um, and we actually have a game against Barcelona once more. This time it is a slightly different turnout as we are back at Ivy Lane. And it's not a, like a 90,000, 100,000 capacity stadium. So the turnout capacity-wise is pretty poor. But we do earn a corner early on. Now, going back to that point once more, what do we fall back on? Well, nothing. Tell me what's new in career mode in comparison to FIFA 14. Nothing. The only thing that's new is the gameplay. And inevitably, our first goal scorer in the league of BBVA is Gerald Piquet, our centre-back against his former club and we actually had a lead here and for once we have a threat from corners I mean Musashio used to be but not in the way that Gerard Piquet can rise above the defence and get his head on target there look at that looping head there above Jordi Alba on the line it's a brilliant head of that it's I really like that he didn't celebrate of course to show respect to his former fans but I mean what do we fall back on ultimate team what do you fall back on what's new that's the point in last year when the gameplay wasn't too new you fell back on a few new features, maybe not many, but a few new features, career mode's new interface, the global transfer network in career mode, an ultimate team lacking still. Um, then from FIFA 13 to 14, uh, well, from FIFA 12 to 13, you had uh, international management coming to career mode and stuff like that. FIFA 14 to 15, no change. The only change, gameplay and a few more licenses for the stadiums in the Premier League to add a bit of authenticity. That's it. And Barcelona actually do get back uh, into the game after we can see the goal here. A bit of an unlucky one after it hits the post or is Asenjo the one who uh, actually saved it? No, it hit the post and Asenjo couldn't react in time. Ivan Rakitic, yet again, of course. But Barcelona were getting close. This is where it could be in danger. But we actually end up going all the way to the 90, 87th minute and we held out a 2-1, which was excellent. I was amazed we could actually be looking at a win here. And Pereira actually races through the pacey little bastard. He cuts back, tries to find something, intricately tricks himself past Vermeulen and it hits the upright. What a shame that was from Jonathan Pereira, the super sub. And again, Pereira gets him for the challenge, but Bravo makes the save and that is full time. So going back to that point again for the final time in this episode, what do you fall back on? The thing is there isn't anything to fall back on. Everything's the same as the old FIFA. So this is why FIFA 15 has died so early. It's got so many problems. Ultimate Team's just fucked. Everything's just fucked about it. There's just... Like, you see on YouTube now these days more bloody videos about, oh, what's next for Ultimate Team? Oh, how will they fix this? Than the actual bloody Ultimate Team stuff itself. I mean... It's all just rubbish about price ranges and shit, and you don't want to hear any of that. You just want to watch Ultimate Team. You can see Marata does join up with the squad, which is an awesome signing. But anyway, that does end this video. I just wanted to get that off my chest, um, because I've not been enjoying FIFA lately, and that might be reflecting in a few of my videos that have been slightly slower in the second season of Villarreal, slightly less effort into them, which, of course, it's, it's going to reflect, isn't it? I mean, if I'm not enjoying something, I'm not going to... I mean, the YouTube side of it, it's fine. It's just the game side of it. So if I'm not enjoying something, it's not going to be very good uh, video-wise. So I'm thinking, should I take a break from FIFA? Should I actually try a different game for once? I mean, there's this whole Jurassic World hype at the moment and stuff. Maybe I should try some of that. Maybe I should try a bit of GTA, Minecraft. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure. Tell me down below if you do want me to try anything just... Just as FIFA 15 closes up and then FIFA 16 back to normal FIFA content again. Anyway, I did that much again and we'll see you next time.